They are scenes that just a few days ago, Sony could hardly have dreamt possible. Fans queuing in the Christmas cold to see a film, pressure from hackers, thought to be from North Korea, had forced them to shelve. The decision to cancel the interview became an international incident and a matter of American national pride, with calls from the president, the producers and the public to show it. This is a film I probably would not have come to see, um, but because of the controversy I thought I would come out tonight to stand up for freedom of speech. I don't think people are afraid of North Korea here in America on American soil. And we've got you know, thousands of patri patriotic Americans on missing Christmas with their families to defend our country overseas. And we can't go to a movie at home, that seems kind of lame. I wanted to support filmmakers who were being censored by a foreign body because I don't believe that anybody should have the right to censor a work, whether it's satirical or not. Mr. Rappaport, I'm Agent Lacey with Central Intelligence. You two are going to be in a room alone with Kim. We got the interview! The CIA would love it if you could take him out. Hmm? The film depicts the assassination of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and had angered the secretive state. Sony had apparently caved into pressure from its main distributors not to screen it. Then, under fire from the White House, came a change of heart. Now the film has opened on Christmas Day, as scheduled, but only in a limited number of independent cinemas. They number in the hundreds, not in the thousands that were going to show it. Some cinema managers said it was more important to uphold free speech than buckle to the vague threat of terrorism. There's a much greater risk, and that's the risk to all of us.